Okay. Cherise Moore, the East Coast. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. Cheers. So, quick biography. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You can start anywhere you want to. Well, my name is Staff Sergeant Cherise Moore. I am an active duty soldier uh, in the United States Army. I have served for over 12 years. I am a single mother of two daughters and also a human rights activist. I have currently started a foundation called Say Hell No Today against electronic harassment as it is very personal to me. If you get a chance, I will also have a rally coming up August 5th through the 7th in Detroit, Michigan. and it's. A rally uh, designed to educate, empower, and expose the ugliness behind electronic harassment. Cheers. So this interview is based around technology and humans. And some of you may or may not be familiar. Are you a victim of technological abuse? Yes, unfortunately I am. And what technologies do you believe you're being abused by? Mm. Well, that's a tricky one. <laughs> I can't say for sure what type of devices that I've been uh, attacked with, but I can say that I've woken up with laser burns on my body. I have been stalked. My vehicle uh, has been hacked. My phones have been hacked. I've been constantly surveilled in my home where people have described out of some kind of camera mic system when I've gone to the bathroom, my body parts, things like that. Cheers. And what are the symptoms of some of these technological abuses? First, how does it feel physically? Physically, it's not fun. When you've been attacked by direct energy lasers, it makes you almost paralyzed where you can't move out of bed. You get bad headaches, you lose equilibrium, nausea, uh, of course some memory loss, things like that. Cheers. And second, how does it feel mentally? Mentally is, is a struggle because when you're not feeling well, your first reaction is to go to the doctor. But what doctor can you go to when you're being attacked with directed energy? Being in the military, um, I expect them to be more open because we do have equipment where we surveil people. We use aerostat balloons to ensure the safety of people on deployments and convoys. We design these energy weapons to win the wars against other countries. But when you go to the doctor, they act as though they don't exist. They try to uh, recommend you to mental health. They try to disregard the fact that this, th these things could be happening on American soil. And for some people who aren't too familiar, uh, a great start would be waves, frequencies, and electromagnetics, etc. So, describe your experience in the outside world. Hmm, it's a challenge. It's a challenge for myself and my daughters to even go to the Walmart because we're constantly being surveyed and followed. So, just going to the Walmart, guaranteed somebody gonna follow us off post, they follow us to these places, and then they'll try to leave, veer off and leave like they wouldn't just following us. Then we'll go in the store, we may see some of those same people in different aisles. And that's been consistent on and off for a while now. Cheers. So, you have kids. Mm -hmm. How safe and comfortable does that make you feel? And cons uh, considering the military as well. It doesn't make me feel safe at all. So, my daughters have been attacked with direct energy lasers on their private parts, their backs. Um, they've had bad anxiety from it. And they have been diagnosed from a top doctor as being um, exposed and targeted with direct energy weapons. They're currently in physical therapy trying to get rehabilitation from it. Cheers. So, have your children been victims of technological abuse? Yes, they have. And if you could tell fathers and mothers around the world, because the reports are on a global scale mm. from all different types of people, all different types of credentials, What's some good advice you would tell a father or a mother with children who are going through this? I would say, first off, listen to your children. Because in my journeys of learning about electronic harassment, the children are mainly being targeted. That's what they're coming for. If your children come and say, hey, mom, I feel a zap on my body or a burn. Or, hey, mom, 
so-and-so looked at me inappropriately. Do not take it lightly because that's how things happen. If I hadn't listened to my children, I wouldn't have known that they had been getting attacked with directed energy. And this is on a military installation that this was happening. And I have gotten a lot of reports uh, from uh, an exceeding amount of uh, all, t all types of stuff. And um, yeah, children definitely uh, do have an attachment to it. And I, it just gets really weird. Um, overall, uh, since this, uh, um, this is an open question as well. Uh, who do you think is responsible for whatever this is? I've heard reports from all different types of things, so um, a very open question, but uh, try your best. So I'm going to do this two ways. Disclaimer. <laughs> Disclaimer. Um, I come from a military family, and I love, I love, I love my military. I love my government, and, I, and, and I'm going to say that first and foremost. I will say in this situation, um, with, with this harassment stuff, like the military has failed me in the sense that the military soldiers have been following people in the military, the bad apples, not the whole, it's just some bad apples. Compartmentalizations maybe? Yes. Compartments? Yes. And because they have been allowed to do so in the sense of chain of commands and CID and military police not reporting it or not accepting it, uh, threatening to separate my, me from my children if I don't go to the hospital, uh, false diagnoses, putting notes on my medical record and on saying things that myself or my family did not say. And because these things have happened, they have allowed, they have allowed people to invade me and my children's personal space and be surveilled legally. So in that sense, the military has failed me um, and the government because it's a government process. It's one big circle. Yeah, there, uh, there also as well is federal reports from whistleblowers and also um, non-whistleblowers as well that do have uh, a correlation uh, in a ways to whatever this stuff is. And, one of the top leaderships told me they said Sergeant Moore I know that these things are happening but is it going to hurt you and when I heard that I just it just it just invoked an emotion in me how can something like this not hurt or affect you and this is the lack of empathy that they give me. so much to say Overall, are you religious in any way, shape, or form? Well, yes, I am. I believe <laughs> and I know that there is a God uh, because nobody else could have got me through the things that myself and my family have been through. And without God, this me being here right now would not be possible. Thank you for your service, Sheree. I love you. Thank you.